Every year, hunters and fishermen pour millions of dollars into the conservation of many different species nationwide. In Ontario alone, this amounts to $71 million. Some people can't wrap their head around the fact that hunters, the ones out there killing animals, can be the world's greatest conservationists. Not PETA, not tree huggers, not vegans. Hunters. We put our money where our mouth is and this has a true impact on protecting what we value with the utmost importance, and that's wildlife. But, as much as we love learning about the animals we hunt, as much as we love becoming part of their environment, and as much as we respect them, it's just like Donnie Vincent says, make no mistake about it, we're here to kill them. Nice shot. We got one down, same spot as last time, except John got this one. So we were sitting there for probably 15 minutes, and then that coyote came out, and John saw it sitting in the fence line. He says, Oh no, my eyes are playing tricks on me. And then it started moving. He says, No, no, it is one. And it, uh, it came out in the field, and then he shot on the first shot, and it looks like he hit it back, and it was running. Took it out on the second shot. I'm just checking where it was running or where he shot at it the first time. I see a couple drops of blood, but not a whole lot. But anyways, he's down. Well, we came out today, um, what is it, February 20th or something? Uh, yeah, 21st, I think. Something February 21st. Um, it wasn't that cold today, maybe minus five, but we started out with one spot we haven't called yet all year. Um, we didn't have any luck there, and then we came over to this spot, and both of us didn't really have any faith. It just didn't seems think like nothing was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Usually when it's really sunny and I don't know, it's later in the morning, we don't seem to have as good of success rate. Yeah. So we weren't really expecting anything, but this guy, I played a howl on the call, some different rabbit sounds, and then a howl again, and right after back to the rabbit, and soon after that he came in. Which um, we were unsure of at first. Or yeah. I thought I saw it, but it was uh, questionable. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, there's one. No, no, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Never mind, it actually is one. <laughs> and then, then he started coming in, and I was saying to him, don't shoot yet, because I could tell it wasn't That's not like, what I heard. spooked, but he didn't, yeah, he didn't hear I that. He, he said, heard, shoot, shoot. shoot. <laughs> so he pulled the trigger and ended up hitting it a little back and then rolled it on the second shot, so it was good. We were yeah. both saying after how pissed we would have been if it got away, but it didn't, so. Didn't happen, so there's a coyote sitting here with us. Yeah, he's a nice looking one too. It's another male. It seems like we get mo way we more males than females. I don't. I think I've called in one. Yeah, so that's about males. it, so. Successful hunt. This is the second one off of this property this year. Yeah, same exact stand, actually. Same yeah. spot and everything. We've called in, what, three there now and got them? Yep, three. Three in that exact spot, so it's mm -hmm. becoming a hot spot. But we're going to go maybe do one more set and uh, see what turns up there. If not, it was a good day. Yeah, good day. Oh. 